Hello customers and welcome to today's video. My name's Jesse. I'm down here at Car Place along Leech Highway in Melville and today I get to run you through a thrilling Holden Commodore. We're going to start our video from the front. We hope you enjoy, hope you have a little giggle along the way. I'm going to start off by listing to you some key features. Inside this car, eight airbags, parking assist with graphical display, GPS satellite navigation, ABS brakes, central locking, power windows, fingers crossed, we can cover all of the remaining features inside this small video, small amount of time that we have for you. Okay, let's start off. We're gonna talk about this paint job. I have no idea what color this is. It's like a mix of gray and green, and it looks fantastic. The detailing team have done a wonderful job upon its presentation. The color contrast of whatever the hell color it is with the blackness of your grill here, a chrome hold and badge along the front, it's presenting really nicely. Now, you're gonna notice some, uh, you can barely notice them actually. They're camouflaged quite well into the paint job. There are your parking sensors. You've got three, one, two, three on the right side, three on the left hand side, and that's just gonna make things super easy when you're parking. It has received a little bit of a scuff along the front here, okay? Now we hope that us pointing that out to you will demonstrate our transparency and authenticity with these videos. We're not trying to hide anything from you. Now, beginning the left hand side tour. Look at that, look at that tire, look at that, look at that, look how clean that is. You can eat your dinner off that. I'm gonna wipe my finger, I'll lick my finger, yum yum. That's super clean. Next up, you've got this little, uh, little feature, side feature here, black. That's an indication light. Another feature, we've got a body kit, a side skirt installed along, of course, this side, and of course, the right hand side. Next up, side mirrors, powered, electronic. To adjust them, we're gonna show, show you the electronic keypad to be able to do so, it's super convenient. Next up, keyless entry along your door handle. This button, if the fob of the car is within range, you press that button, it locks the car just like it has, and then, well, well vice versa. Okay, now it's unlocked it. Uh, super convenient. A little bit of a tint application along the front here, maybe not actually, I don't know. I'm not no tint expert, but the windows are looking freaking awesome, I can guarantee you that. There's definitely some tint along the back here. Um, you got a chrome, what does that say, black edition. Cool. Don't know what that is, but that's what this is. And I think that's going to do us for the left hand side. Before we take you to the back, let's zoom in on our back left hand wheel. Look at that. Look at it. You could, you could clean your teeth, do your face in the morning. That's so shiny. Now, from the back, we're going to take you from the top to the bottom. Antenna, an interior brake light demisting strips along your back windscreen, a black spoiler feature along the top here, chrome badges along the left and right here and the center. Look at it. Look at the contrast of the red brake lights here and the, whatever color this is. Lastly, your parking sensors, two on this side, two on this side. And where is it? There it is, your reverse parking camera. Okay, and just to here, it's a little knock it's received and on top, a tiny little knock as well. All right, to pop your hood, you grab a hold of your keys, like so, hold it down, and there you go, it opens. Check out all that space you have inside the boot. You could fit four friends in the boot while you're driving to the city, okay? So that's four, that's, that's not, you could, fit, you could take nine people to the city. No, guys, do not do that, I do not advocate that, it's just a joke. All right, plenty of room. I lift up the floor and I see a full size spare tire with all the tools below the tire to be able to adjust that over, swap over. Look at this, you're gonna even get a free pencil and a free pen. How awesome is that? That's gonna do us for the back. I invite you now to join me along the right hand side. As you come along, check out your wraparound brake lights. What's this? Oh, a push open fuel cap, how convenient. Now you don't need to jump out of your car at the petrol station and realize, oh, I need to go back to the thing and pull the lever. You don't have to worry about that anymore because you just press it open, press it closed. Okay, come closer and check out your back right hand tire. Wonderful condition, you eat your dinner off that. Now we invite you to check out the inside. Very nice to the touch here. I don't even know what material this is called. It feels like a wetsuit material. Very nice. Maple finish inside here. Power windows, nice big speaker. Jump on inside. You're gonna get a little bit of rubbish with the car as well. 
We've got some storage on the back of the left and right, the, the passenger seat, the driver's seat, air conditioning vents in the center there. You can see staring you in the face, the uh, armrest in the center, and we've got a partial leather and partial cloth seats. They're super comfy. That smells wonderful. It smells like I've just entered like a Hoyt's cinema. You know how good they smell? That's what this car smells like. And I've just noticed as well, rubber floor mats. Rubber floor mats, not carpeted, okay? They're the best floor mats you can get. Time now to take you through the front. Once again, very nice interior. Don't know what material this is, but it's very nice to the touch. Power windows. That's the bay to adjust your side mirrors, okay? Left or right or none, and then you just press it in the direction in which you want the mirror to uh, be facing. Chrome door handle has come away a little bit, all right? If that's a problem for you, tell your salesperson, they'll sort it out. As we jump on inside, here you've got your light controls. To the left, illumination. To the left, heads up display. Now, this, right now, we're gonna invite the camera to shift above, across the base. See that, look, right in the center of your screen there, that acts as a projector, and it will shoot an image onto, literally, your windscreen itself. And it's gonna show your speed, all of the details of the car that you would normally see in between your steering wheel here, okay? It's a really fancy feature, and uh, boys, the ladies are gonna absolutely love it. Now, your steering wheel. Left-hand side is your cruise control settings, and the right-hand side here is your volume control, station control, phone control, pick up your phone, hang up the phone. Okay, taking you through the central features. Nice big speaker along the top here nice big prominent display all of the buttons to get through that system you got maps here as well here is your what's that air conditioning one thing i've got to tell you dual zone climate control okay they think of all these fancy names for these things but they end up being more confusing than they are cool dual zone climate control is just the temperature on this side of the car, of the air conditioning, can be different to that side of the car. It's freaking awesome. No more arguing about what the temperature the aircon is. All right, here, you got a 12 volt power supply. Equip any accessories you so desire into that, and they can sit right there. Anything else can sit here. You got some storage space here. Your phone can go there. Gear stick, chrome finish along the outside, chrome finish along the top, leather handle. Here are your parking assist. Is if the beeping is annoying you, do, 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 you can turn it off. Traction control if it's raining. Look at that electronic door, us uh, door, electronic um, parking brake. Jesus Christ, that took me a while. Parking brake, no more unsightly handle pulling up and down. It's now all electronic. You press it down to disengage. You pull it up to engage. Moving on. Drink holders with the chrome outlay. Here, central storage with a 12 volt power supply. A USB input, and there's some sort of other input in here as well. I've got no idea what it is, but there, I'm telling you there's another input. Ask your salesperson about that. I need to figure it out as well, but not now, because we're in the middle of a video. Okay, this is your service history, and we'll go through that in a second, but I'll just quickly point out, you're going to get the owner's manual of the Commodore as well, okay? Oh, and you're also going to get a receipt of some sort. Okay, what do we got inside here? Service warranty history. I've already turned the page to take you straight to the first of, the, of many services this vehicle has had. December 2016 at 16,000 kilometers was the first one. We got another one in May 2017, uh, September 2017, uh, February 2018, March 2019, August 2019, August 2020, and that's the last one. August 20, so got, well, I just listed six services there, maybe seven, I don't know. Enough to hopefully give you peace of mind that the car's been looked after. All right, here I noticed that the Rego will last for another two months, the 1st of May, okay? It's currently the 24th of February. So you get two months and four days out of that. Sun visor with a mirror. 
roof storage here for your sunnies or anything else you want to put in there and an anti-glare rear view mirror. If someone behind you with really bright lights is annoying you, that will annoy you less, okay? Whatever. And we're done. We're done on the inside, my friends. Two things more I've got to tell you, but I'll do that while I walk around. Don't forget about your seats. Super comfy and the rubber floor mats. That's all you need to know. Super comfy seats, rubber floor mats. And I just saw this as well. I always forget about this one. Electronic seat adjustments, okay? You got one handle, but the others, forward and back, all electronic. Okay. Pop your hood. Close this off. Check out your last tire. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that tire. What condition? Now, before I invite you to take a closer look at the engine bay, notice this. Look at look how, how light that is. I'm putting minimal effort into lifting this hood. The piston does most of the job for me here. I don't even know if that's even called a piston. I don't know what you call that. Come closer. Check out your engine bay. Yes, it's a little bit dusty, but what engine bay isn't dusty? What's important to notice here is that it, there's no oil spatter, there's no dirt, it looks fine. All the pieces are there. If you're a rev head, hopefully the V6 engine stood out to you. Hopefully there's some other bits and pieces here that you were like, oh, that's cool. And if you're not a rev head, take my word for it. They wouldn't have this car here. We wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't up to scratch, okay? Dropping that down and wrapping up today's video. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. We hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a bit of a laugh along the way. It's time to wrap up by telling you two important pieces of information. Number one, warranty is available on not just this car, but all of the cars here in the yard. Get warranty. You will not regret it. Secondly, same day finance approval here at the yard, which is just a fancy way of saying that the banking stuff gets sorted out super quick. They've worked it down to a fine art. And we're done. Guys, if you think this might be the car for you, find our contact number, give us a ring, take it for a test drive down Leach Highway and back, see how you feel. My name's Jesse. I'm a Perth marriage celebrant. Check me out on Instagram at Jesse B Celebrancy. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. We'll hear from you soon.